What's up? What's up, y'all? Sorry, I'm late. I am late. I um had a customer that came in and held me up for a little bit, asking some questions. So I'm getting ready to burn screens. Like uh, I, I've been doing a lot of screen print videos lately. Uh, so I had somebody on the live stream. Uh, well, I've been doing a lot of screen printing live, live screen printing as I'm printing orders. So I was printing an order. What's up, Dimps? What's up, Marcel? This this is going to be great live. Oh, yeah. But right here, this is a screen that you will use for screen printing right here. And um, like. The, like what you see, the part that's pink is actually emulsion. What's up, baby giant? What's up, Jesse? So the pink part is actually emulsion, and it's like photosensitive emulsion, and the it you use it to make a stencil. So I do have videos showing all the steps, but because I I coated the screens, you know, and now they already coated, I'm gonna go ahead and um just show y'all how to burn an image in the screen so um this is and this is what you would use if y'all want to see screen printing y'all can go back and check out the live i did yesterday and you can see how everything works once you get the uh once you get the screen burned you know it's starting from after i do what i'm about to do now the next step would be you can go ahead and print your shirt so what's up judy lizzie fan form or fam form my bad how y'all doing so that is uh that's the thing so right here i have the anatol aurora which is like it's an exposure unit like a light box and it's got like lead lights in here so let me see if i can make sure that y'all can see the full thing right here but this is a lead exposure unit you don't have to have one of these in order to burn screens this is like a you know i've been doing this for a while so this is like you know a high level uh a high level uh what do you call it exposure unit so i'm gonna show y'all what i used before so right down here is a you do and i'm just gonna kind of slide it out so y'all can check it out uh this is actually a you do right here and I got stuff on here. And you can actually, when these came out a few years ago, you can actually use this whole thing to print t-shirts. And let me back y'all up. But I used to use it. I bought it specifically to use it as an exposure unit. So right here, you can see the, you know, the light similar to the one that I have over there. But this is more like a beginner level exposure unit. And the way that you printed the shirts with this, you would put the shirt on here. And actually, I never peeled this off, but it's got like a sticky, sticky coating on there so that the shirt will stick down to that. And it's got like emulsion stains on it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's got emulsion that I spilled on there. But this is like more beginner that you would put your screen down on there. And you could burn a screen using that. So if y'all see some of those used, they do make good exposure units. So I'm going to slide it back over here. But I used that for several years before I was able to get the uh, the one that I have now. So you don't have to start out with that. And when I first started out, I was actually using, you say, you see a rug gun. Hey, that rug gun broke. That's the broke one. But, um, yeah, I actually um used to use a work light like a halogen work light to burn screens but they they have like lead lights and all kinds of stuff you can use to burn screens so you don't necessarily have to have a you do or exposure unit like that you can buy like lead lights on amazon and eventually i probably will do videos on all of this stuff because i am planning on doing a screen printing class like starting to teach people how to do screen printing because when i first started out all i knew about was vinyl and if you're getting big orders, that vinyl is going to, you know, that's going to be kind of tough to, to get a hundred shirt order. Like this screen right here that I have, the person that was doing their shirts before, they was doing vinyl. 
So if you can see those details, like in the tire tracks right there, how hard it will be like that part, you would have to weed that out. Like the parts that's purple, you would have to weed all of that off to leave what, what you see as a stencil in this screen. So that would be, you know, a headache to weed something like that. But because I can, you know, I can uh, screen print it, it don't take me long to print shirts like this. You know, all I have to do is burn the screen and if y'all want to check out how fast screen printing is, y'all can check out the videos. And depending on what color ink. So right here, this is where I keep my screens at when, when they dry. So all of these, I have coated with emulsion right here. So what I'm going to do, I, I like, like, they, they dry overnight. So what I like to do is move them all up to the top. Move them up to the top. And that way, and I, you know, I have a space in them in between them while they're drying. But once I, they are all dry, I like to move them up to the top. All right. So let me see. I'm going to show y'all the process that I do to register my screens. So right here, this is just a big sheet of chloroplast right here. Let me see. This is a big sheet of Coraplast sign right here. And all I did was I took my registration, which I bought this. Um, they, they have a registration thing like this that they sell on Amazon, but it's just like basically a giant, a huge transparency film that, you know, that's got everything I need to line up my screen. And it's got like the different size screens, like 20 by 24 screens, the 18, this says the 18 by 24 palette, you know, that's what they're using. And then it's got like a 16 by 16, you know, so it depends on what size screens all the way up to 23 by 31, but I'm using a 20 inch screen. So what I usually do like right here, this is the screen clamp. If you have a rear clamp screen, mine is, a, is actually a side clamp, but I, you know, you can still use this. So I'm going to show y'all what I do. So basically you just lay this flat. And right here, my design, I printed it out on the inkjet trans transparency film. So this is actually two designs. This is a design for some tiles that I have to print. And this is the back for the shirts that I was printing yesterday. Y'all can check it out. Um, you know, check that live stream out if y'all missed it. So right here, um, what, what all I do is I'm going to bring y'all close so that I can try to let y'all see it. Good. So... I have my tape right here and I tape four corners, all four corners. And I have the, the print side, the side that was printed on is facing up. So depending on what way you, what exposure unit you're using, like mine is exposing from the bottom. So I have the printed side facing up and I'm going to put the screen down on top of it. So that when you look down into the screen, like, Right here, this this screen right here, as you see, this is the side of the screen that the ink goes on. So the other side of the screen will be against your shirt. So when the when it's up against your shirt, you want it to look right, like as you see right there. But if you are using a uh, if you're using a different, like a using a work light or something, you would the light would be shining down from above. So you will put the you will put the film in here instead of on top. And I do have videos showing how to do that because that once again that's how I started out. You do not have to start out with the equipment that I have, but it does you know make make things a lot easier if you can upgrade your equipment to something like this because it it don't take that long to uh, burn a screen when you do that. All right, so I got that on all four sides. And since I'm using the 20 by 24 screen, I would look at this outline right here, starting here. So you want to make sure that it's like a four inch space from the end of that screen right there. So let me see. I am going to... 
let me make sure I got lined up. I'm I'm just gonna kind of line it up so that it's a four inch space on both sides, at least the four inch space. It's gonna be a little bit more, but that'll be fine. So all I'm doing is lining it up with this center line right here. And if I line up with that center line that way, I'm putting it on the screen straight. And I'm making sure that it's four inches on each side, at least four inches on each side of the screen to give me enough room to push my squeegee. So I'm going to grab a screen right here. So what I'm going to do is lay my screen. I'm going to line up with this line down here and lay it flat. And then I'll make sure that the tape sticks on there. All right, so now I'm going to rub my fingers around it, and I'm just making sure that the tape sticks up against the screen so that when I lift it up, it's stuck on there. And I always, I usually, like, as y'all see right there, it's not stuck down right here. So because all the other side stuck, all I have to do is go on here and just rub that down with my fingers. So now I'm done with this, and I'm going to move it out of the way. I'm going to back y'all up some first. So now that I'm done with this, Trying to make sure y'all can see. I need a camera person. And I can move this out the way. And you don't have to put this on a big board like this. But I, you can put it on a piece of plexiglass or something. But I like it. You know, I like it being on something that's, you know, that's uh, kind of sturdy. But you can. You don't really have to have that. You can lay it out. Just, unroll, you know, unroll this, the film, and just lay it out. But. I think it's easier to manage if it's on something that's kind of sturdy like this. So now I'm just going to open this up and this hose right here is it's going to suck all the air out of here once I close it up. I really need to wipe it off a little bit, but we're going to go with it. It should be okay. I need to clean my glass, but um, then I'm going to have to make sure it's dry good. But I just use like regular glass cleaner. To clean it, you can use Windex, whatever, to clean it. But we're just going to go with it. If you if you have a lot of spots on your screen, you can cause pinholes. And the pinholes are just like little open spots because the light couldn't shine through. So the way that, that exposing the screen works, like right here where it's dark at, the light can't shine through that. So it's whenever... The light shine on the emulsion is going to make the this part hard and the part where it's dark at, it's going to stay soft. So it's not going to be like once I wet it, it's not going to be able to stay in the screen because it's too soft and the light makes this part hard. So that it's just going to wash the stencil out. So we're just going to slide this on in here. And it takes eight seconds to do this with this exposure unit. With that you do, it takes about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead Now it's on the countdown My bad, I couldn't let y'all get an up close view So it's done Alright, so the next thing I do I'm going to grab my spray bottle with water in it I like to use the spray bottle, which I don't really have to in here. Like in the other the other shop that I had, I always used to use this because it was a little distance from where I had to take my screen to wash it out. But here it's not that far. So now that it's done, all I do is I peel off the film, and I can reuse this film again um, if I need. If I like, if I have to wash this screen out for whatever reason, I can use that film again. So right here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this water, and um, I don't know if y'all can kind of see the design in there. You can see it a little bit, but when I spray this water, you'll be able to see the design. Y'all see how it comes in right there, and I'm dripping water all on the floor just to show y'all this. All right, so y'all can see the design right there now. Hopefully, without slipping, we're going to bring it over here. And 
I'm going to put it in my sink. And I'm going to let it wash out. I mean, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. You always want to let it sit for a little bit to break down the emulsion. And then you can spread out with a pressure washer. So that's uh, pretty much. Thank you, Dawn. How you doing today? What's up, Paula D? But yeah, like you, all you do is you, and actually it's, it's probably ready to come out. I can tell because this is some fresh emulsion. I just, um, this emulsion just came this week. So the design is probably ready to wash out. You can um, kind of rub it with your finger and help it to break down. I have this, um, this little thing I use right here. It's a uh, sponge. And sometimes I wipe over it. Like sometimes when the emulsion get older, you know, you have to rub it a little bit to help it break down. So I just have this sponge on this paper towel right here. And um, then you can wash it out. So I'm going to see if y'all got any questions while we are letting that sit for a minute. What's up, Arlene? What's up, 28? How you doing? 28 Young. Let me see. I'm good. I am good. <laughs> Lizzie says that design has is hilarious. Yeah, I wish he would just keep the same design. But now he's trying to do something different. I like when I'm printing for businesses for them to keep the same design. It just makes it a whole lot better. I offer business pricing, and uh, I'm gonna have to redo my um, you know, get get some paperwork in order to let them know if it's going to be different every time they're going to be paying regular prices because walmart you know they might change that logo every now and then but they're not changing it every year so oh i don't even have this thing on i don't know if y'all can even see it let me turn this light out and y'all can probably see it better but like right there you can see it's washing out And like how it is right there, as y'all can see, it's kind of, it's breaking down. Let me see, it's breaking down, but it's still some parts in there. Like you know, if you take your finger and rub it, that'll help it break down. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. When you are spraying this out, I'm using a portable pressure washer because sometimes, like I know when I first started, like this is my regular pressure washer, and it's way more pressure. It will actually take the skin off your hand if you know using this real pressure washer so it can blow out your screen and we, when I, what I mean by blow out your screen is washing out parts that you don't want to wash out so like with the pressure washer you want to you know you don't want to overdo it you want to kind of let it sit a little bit if it's not washing out make sure it's wet let it sit a little bit more rub it with your finger get a sponge and rub it but, when you have some fresh emulsion you don't really have any issues washing it out and it's pretty much washed out i'm gonna turn my light on so that i can inspect it and make sure that it's not anything left in here because if you leave any of that emulsion in here it's gonna dry and get back hard so you know you don't want to um have to deal with that when you get ready to print so i'm gonna turn my light on back here and just make sure everything is out and then I'm going to put the screen over there so it can dry. And it usually with my setup, I got a fan and a heater blowing on, you know, blowing on the screens over there. 
And usually it takes about 15 minutes to dry. So, you know, um, depending on your setup, it could take longer, but it takes about 15 minutes, um, no longer than 30 minutes usually to dry. But you can let it dry overnight and you don't have to put a heater or fan or nothing on it. It'll, you know, it should be dry. I just like to rub over with my hand just to make sure. And you probably really don't even have to do that, but I don't know. I just, I just like to be sure that everything is out. All right. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to um, give it one last rinse, and I'm going to take this paper towel, and I'm going to dry it off. And the reason I'm drying it off, you don't really have to dry it off. You, you know, you can, uh, it's, it, it's not like a thing that you just have to do, but I don't want to wet this floor all the way up. So I'm kind of trying to dry it off as much as I can to keep it from dripping all over my floor. And I just dripped it on the floor. All right. So now I'm going to bring it back over here. And I'm going, I'm still dripping a little bit on the floor. I still dripping a little bit on the floor. But um, bring it back over here and put it in here. And then I can turn my fan and my heater on. And I also have a dehumidifier, which is right here. I have a bigger one, but this one is usually good enough and it helps it dry faster with that dehumidifier and um and that's it so i'm gonna check back in about 20 minutes and it should be good and ready to go in 20 minutes because it shouldn't take about 15 to dry but so about 12 after i'm gonna check back actually i'm i'm probably just gonna check back at 20 after all right, so there was, uh, I had a quick person that asked that question. How do you get, what's up, Crafting Away? How do you get the design in the screen? So I just thought I would come back on here and let y'all see today. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if y'all liked the video or found it helpful, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Lizzie says that's a lot of work. You think so, Lizzie? I love screen print. Like, I I don't like to print any other way but screen print. I mean, I like DTF also, but it's print so slow, you know, and and you have to print them all out slow like that. But you can print a full color image on that. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's a lot of work because like my screens are in there, and like by the time they dry, that would have took uh, the time that it take me to cut a design out and weed it. Like, I got screens in here. I have five more screens in here. So those five screens, like, if I get, and you can put, as y'all see, I put two screens in one. I mean, two designs in one screen. So, you know, you can put a front and a back in, a, in one screen. You can put two different ones in one screen. And that way, you know, I might be able to print ten more designs depending on, you know, how big they are and stuff like that. Cause I got five more screens. I could probably print 10 more, um, 10 more designs in those screens. Or if it's a big design, you know, at least five more. And, and it don't take as long as it would take, like say you got 25 shirts to do. And you, you know, and you would have to cut out and weed those 25 shirts, you know? So I think it's a lot less than that. And then even if you have to order transfers, you have to wait for them to send the transfers. You know, you could do all this in one day. And print, as y'all saw yesterday, I printed, I printed 35 shirts front and back and four, four shirts, just the fronts. And it don't, it didn't take that long. Like that, I did two live streams. And it took an hour for each live stream, but it didn't take that long to print those shirts. And really, because I was printing white ink, it was like printing double the amount of shirts I printed. So imagine printing 100 shirts an hour, easy, by myself. 
designing rhinestones it is a lot of work okay yeah designing rhinestones took it took me probably a week that that uh m logo that i did it probably took me about a week because i worked on it and got tired of working on it and worked on it later but well, rhinestones you know that does um that does take a lot and then to do them each color imagine if you had 25 rhinestone shirts to do and they was the same you know it's still you got to do that every single time you know all of that that does take up you know take up a bit of time and patience just like you said but i appreciate y'all watching um if y'all like the video make sure y'all hit the thumbs up if uh if y'all find a helpful if y'all not subscribed y'all probably can't come in because i only allow subscribers to come in so you might want to consider subscribing but i will see y'all in another video but until then y'all be blessed